train show today it is a little cool and rainy out we got a pretty good crowd gathering up hey everybody it's mark the lost traveler and it's train show time i'm in timonia maryland at the great scale model train show it's going to be a lot of stuff inside so let's go take a look Take it. Thank you. All right, there's a whole bunch of stuff to the right, down the middle, and to the left. Custom model railroads, really cool laser cut kits. These are awesome, they're in scale. Wow, these buildings are really awesome. The skyscraper, the Park Hotel. Oh, let's look at this factory. This is HO power plant. Drive the train right on through there. Now we're into HO here, the Union Pacific Challenger 3819. Pennsylvania. I'm liking this New York Central though. Green scheme. Well, I'm looking to pick up an in scale engine in DCC with sound, but I uh, haven't found anything yet. Of course, I just started out. But they do have the Union Pacific Big Boy DCC ready, but that's not what I'm looking for yet. There's a really nice HO scale weathered. These are great. Buy yourself an engine, then come over here to the test track. Well, our first layout of the day, the Baltimore Society of Model Engineers established back in 1932. Some really nice weathering on this layout. We're at the Z Bend track. This is some layout. Check out this. There were cars moving there. There's a cement truck. Chinook helicopter. They got a drive in theater. Wow, this is an incredible layout. He's checking for derailment, but there isn't one. And a baseball game going on, there's a circus going on.
come over here to the beach. And we're back to the town, a small fire department. mountain area check out this this is really cool here moving vehicles this mountain scenery is incredible We've got a camp here Have a wind field. Check out that mountain. Uh-oh, we got a derail. Woodland scenic trees. Of course, fall colors. We got apple trees, cherry trees, pine trees. I like these military. These are anywhere from 90 to $75. Those are HO scale if I didn't mention that. This is from the Yankee Dabbler. They're having a class here on how to put decoders in. Baltimore area American Flyer Club. Now we're going through the scary part of town. Got a pumpkin patch there. We've got skull heads and bones down the middle of the track. We've got a haunted house. No, oh, Frankenstein is alive. That sign says flying the blue monster. If you guys see the blue monster, yell out. Aliens have taken over that tractor trailer. Nice roundhouse. Right before the train comes. Next layout, the DC area independent high railers. Let's take a walk around this layout. We can follow the Chicago and Northwestern around. Nice horn. Well, we have an Amtrak coming. The Cape Crusaders.
Big yard, no trains on it. Looks good. Western Maryland. There's Clinchfield, goes with Sound 200. More Clinchfield. Some Atlas LNs with Sound. And some Unmarked, those are $50 each. These are anywhere from 50 to 35. I think they're metal, yep. They're metal. Proto Series 2000, 55 each or two for a hundred. Oh, I think this is SD, SD60, Union Pacific. We got a whole table full here. Illinois Central, nice. Oh, there's the Union Pacific Big Boy. I don't think that's the DCC with sound. Mint condition, the Neil Young Greendale train. Only 500 bucks today. For those of you that aren't familiar with that, here's what it looks like. Well, if you want to start a tank battle, this is it. $5 each for all these tanks. That'd probably be a couple hundred bucks. We have some trucks here. But mostly tanks. All right, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Kona Wingo models. And I thought they might have been 3D printing, but they're kits that you can purchase. That's what the kit looks like. You want to buy it, build it yourself. Some of the models, these are really cool. Even the trains you can kit build. Mud Creek models. There's the church. These are really nice. Oh, another G scale train, but of course they have Tootsie Rolls in them. These are great buildings. Covered bridge. There's the box for that. Now we're at Nick and Nora Design. A lot of great buildings here. A oh, nice dock scene here. Live girls for sixty five Mo track models. Check out these buildings. Oh, this is really nice here. I like the way they're displaying that. Oh, oh, oh. 
clothes out hanging on the laundry line. There's a pretty good crowd in here. I just went to the section on the right. This is the center hall. And then there's still one more hall straight ahead. So we spent like two hours just in that first hall. The Yankee Dabbler. I buy a lot of stuff from these guys. I'm sure there'll be some Cato stuff, which there is. I might get lucky and find something here. This is National Capital Trains. Didn't find anything over the Yankee Dabbler. A lot of in scale track. Cato sets. Mostly in scale, which is what I'm looking for. And make it work the Some DCC and controllers. The clinic area is and this is probably the smallest the radius of uh, Kato in scale track. Oh, now here's what I'm looking for some box sets. Oh, this is nice here. Originally, looks like 450 for 240. A lot of passenger sets here. Bullet trains. Well, this is neat. If I can get it out for $170. Wow, that is really cool. Making tracks, HO scale model railroad equipment and accessories. 3% added for credit card sales. American Limited, Bowser. A lot of Atlas tracks. I'm looking for some containers, but uh, not an HO. It's a Jacksonville Terminal Company. Those are $50. So we have a special 50th edition Amtrak 4316. Wow, look at that. That is nice. Bachman, Atlas, Walders. Definitely have every type of manufacturer here. The Regal line, Rock Island, Southern Pacific, New York Central. Big variety of Cotto HO engines, SD40s, SD45s, SD40-2, Burlington Northern. Southern Pacific 4882, and I don't see the price on that. Intermountain Railway Company. Chessie System, try to get rid of the glare there. We've got Green Burlington Northern and the Gray Burlington Northern. Great Northern. I should start maybe building a set in in scale for that. C. Claire, Sioux Line. Uh, a little more G scale stuff, along with some HO. I'm seeing a lot more of these rainbow cars. That one's from Bachman. LGB and USA Trains. Oh, now this is cool for basically $2,000. It's the Norfolk Southern uh, Training Response. That's pretty cool. I know I need this, but I'm not really sure what I need to get from the hot wire foam factory. There's all kinds of items here. We want me to write that up there. 16 inch table cutter. 
all your different hot wires and some soldering things. I don't know much about any of that because I haven't done any of it yet. But he was saying this was all done with the hot wire. That's really cool though. Kind of the before and after. All right, now we're walking into the third hall. This is the final hall. Didn't spend too much time in the middle. There's a lot going on in this one. The, check this out, the crescent is a telephone. Pretty cool. Oh, that Norfolk Southern Operation Lifesaver. Finally, some G scale. It's a Bachman Dash 9 up there. New Haven. Bachman 460. I actually had one of those uh, Rio Grande, Denver and Rio Grande Westerns, kind of out of the G scale range. Still have some though. Wow, check out these. This is really sweet. Like a missile. Sure, he's going to run it for us. So most of these are European trains. There is an Excella there. Spanish. Spanish. French, Italian, American, British, Italian. Japanese down here. It's got trains from all over the world from here. This one's Chinese? Yeah, these are Chinese. Wow, look at these. Yeah, In the it. tube. I have been to a few train shows and I will say I think this is the first time I've actually seen a G-scale layout. Nice layout. Back to the future. Back, back over there, there's aliens. It's definitely a haunted theme here at the train show this year. Darth Vader. Now this is a little cool in scale layout. These are all little modulars. As you can see right there in the cracks, there's all the wiring. But this is a really cool idea. I might think about doing something like this. I thought there might be some trains running, but nope. All right, this is N scale. This is called Free Mo. So uh, if you join the club, or actually it's like a national association. It's uh, the same spec, so if you, uh, let's say, go to a, a meeting in California, you can bring this with you and it will match up with all the other free modes. This is like the perfect height. This is like, uh, oh, I'm gonna say four foot or so. Maybe less. Oh, we got some swimmers here. A golf course. Mm -hmm. 
There's all their hardware and controls. It's all digit track. Oh, we got this nice loop here. Well, that's impressive. Wooden trestle bridge. There's our yard. This is the Baltimore area end track. And you can't get too close. They definitely have the stanchions a couple feet away. Look at that yard. Good variety there of uh, auto racks, single and double stack. Nice long run coal train with two caboose. Now we're gonna catch it as it goes over the bridge here. Oh, the auto racks out. This is pretty cool. All this is Ringling Brothers. Well, from the circus train to the circus tent, check that out over there. That's neat. There's a lot moving on here. Trapeze, it's got a unicycle. There's even a canning. I don't think anybody shoots out of it, though. Lion tamer. There's the trapeze. That is really cool. All this is circus stuff. That's what these guys scratch build. All circus theme. Join the circus model builders today. Wow, another circus layout. There is a lot going on here. But unfortunately, this is as close as you can get. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna to have to say it again, this is just amazing. We've got a show going on in there. This section of the building, there's probably 10, 12 layouts in this building. A lot of layouts. NECHS, the Northeast Quarter Historical Society. Earlier we saw the N scale uh, mod. This is like the HO mod. Oh, now we're in the new electrical lines. Now these guys are near me, the Northern Virginia in Trek Club. And we have us an auto train. They have lights in them. This is a good long train here.
We've seen these guys at a few shows. Seaplane at the beach. Oh, is this Transformers? I'm not really sure. Oh, there's the tanks. I wonder if they bought them from that guy down the street. Oh, we got a few Amtraks running today. It's a good yard here. Really nice bridge here. This is the Salisbury Viaduct. This is a huge modular layout. Impressive, all these steam engines here. Uh, working here on the roundhouse and then we have I'm gonna say I think about seven tables is that yard that is pretty impressive let's take a walk down this yard Here's our train with the coupling issues. Today the layout length is 116 foot long. All these trees were scratch built from the guy I was just talking to. Pretty cool cornfield. Well, this is the second drive-in theater we've seen today. Wings of Death. We got a military train. Oh, that's gold in those cars. 
See the little army men on sitting on each one of those? That's an impressive coal plant facility. We have empty and full coal cars. Oh, there's the layout. She's controlling it all on that big computer screen. Hershey Coco. Oh, we're inside the Hershey plant here. Big silos. Golf course, one hole. Nice yard here. Oh, fire truck's heading out. Steel coils. Those might be uh, car frames right there. Here comes Conrail Quality, double and single stack. County Society of Model Engineers Modular Railroading at its best. Now this is a cool idea. All these modules have these giant lamps on them. Like I said, these lights make uh, these modules all the difference in the world. And this next three modules are the Amherst Railway Society Railroad Hobby Show 2018 Best Model in Show. I'll say the sad part is I don't know how the video is turning out, but uh, to see this stuff in person compared to the video is amazing. I just hope it looks good. Not too much shaking going on. It's like the Circus Factory, Christmas Factory. This whole town. All the animals getting ready to go in. There's the any town fire department. There is a lot of circus activity going on here. Now 
right next to the graveyard, the railroad diner. Get us a train coming. Specialty tools and electronics, B and B hobby supplies. And there is all kinds of stuff over here. They have a lot of magnifying glass, tools, holders. You can do wire connections, amperage meters. Oh, I think this is a like one of those you pick up a magnet, magnet picker up. Oh yeah. Magnet picker up. That's cool. All kinds of tools. Holders, little mini vices. Ten minutes. It's all kinds of Dremel wheels. A lot of different scissors. Oh, look at these. Cosmic. You can get a spray booth. All types of adhesives. Pick your color. definitely need a magnifying glass. I don't know if I want a head one or something like that. Well, they have a lot of stuff. I have to check them online. Let me get this some big magnifying glass. Oh, a ballast spreader. Oh, a power railer. I've seen this, the rotating loco cradle. I don't know if I want to get it for my end scale or not. I can probably put the couplings on a little better. Switches and connectors. Mini toggle switches. Here we have the push button. Blue, green, black, red. Well, these are the lamp panels. Banana plugs. Wow. Gold plated banana plugs. A lot of toggle switches. Mini micro switches. A lot of micro switches, standard micro switches. Jumpers. That's a 12 position strip there. Oh, for 15 bucks, you can get the grabber. What do you think of this train set? This is all made out of Legos. All these are Lego trains. Norfolk Southern, Burlington, Northwest. Lego track. Yeah, we have a 
cornfield and a pumpkin patch. Cool station. Here we're working on some scenery here. Lego bridge. Those of you familiar with this area, this is Point of Rocks. Well, we saw a lot of stuff here, a lot of layouts. There were some great layouts here. Picked up a few things and um, this was really interesting, this Lego set behind me. So I think that's gonna do it from the great scale model train show here. And on that note, Traveler's saying, see you by the rail.